Hey guys, it's Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today guys, I'm going to show you to fix the issue where you're seeing this folder is empty when you actually connect your smartphone to your um, Windows PC. Now, of course, here I have my um, smartphone and I'm going to show you what the error looks like. So just give me um, a little time as I'm um, controlling everything just with one hand. All right. So here I have my USB cable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect and of course you can notice on screen you'll notice that the device should be recognized and uh, it should come up on your um, on your pc so you can see right here i have the new device the samsung galaxy s8 i'm just going to go ahead and open up you can see it actually over here and we're just going to go ahead and open up right now so let's open up once you open up guys, you're seeing the error I was seeing here and the device is connected as you can see, but we're getting this error right here that says this folder is empty and the empty folder here indicates that the um, Galaxy S8 is empty and it's not. So I'm going to show you to fix this problem by showing you six solutions that you can look into. All right. So right away guys, we're going to go back to this PC and of course I can open up again. And I wanted to look now, guys. Just notice once I unlock the device. So if your device is locked, just go ahead and punch in the password or use your finger to actually unlock. And of course, there I go. It's unlocked. And if you notice in the background, we are still on um, the Galaxy S8. And because it's locked, what's happening is that it cannot um, read while it's locked. So you need to unlock. So that might be the first reason why your device is actually not being um, detected by your pc all right so the second thing i want to try guys in case that one did not work is you can go on the internet and download the latest drivers with the smart switch or samsung keys depending on your device which is a tool from samsung and i'll show you what this device or this tool looks like and here you go guys this is the tool and it's called samsung smart switch of course, you can download it by searching Smart Switch and you can see it here on the Samsung website. And of course, it's compatible with various devices, so you can actually go ahead and download. Or for older devices, you can go for keys. And of course, what this will do is it will install drivers on your device and these drivers will make it easier to communicate with your device, such as your smart um, phone. So just go ahead and download this. And guys, you can actually see here what the Samsung Smart Switch looks like connected to my um, smartphone and of course once I connect this it will make all the drivers and so on once it's installed so that my phone can be easily detected especially on the newer Samsung Galaxies such as the S8 and the S9 all right so all you got is download this and of course your phone should come up without the error saying that your device has been um, uh, this folder is empty all right, guys, another thing to look out for is to make sure that you grant access to your phone. Whenever it's connected by USB, make sure that the settings is correct. So as you see, allow access to your phone data, and that is for the PC. So just go ahead and um, allow to grant access. If you deny, it will not um, connect. So if I go to my computer on this PC, you now it should show up and the folder should not be um, empty. In addition to that, guys, you got to make sure that, um, of course, here where it says um, USB for file transfer, make sure that yours is actually saying the same thing. So just come in here and make sure it's on file transfer and not, for example, on transfer images or change or charge this phone or charge connected device or charge a MDI device. All right, so just make sure it's not on those. Make sure it's on um, that option right there. And while we're talking about um, that option, sometimes your cable is at fault. Some of these cables can only charge so if it's only charging and you're not seeing your device, just go ahead and switch out your cable or purchase a new cable or borrow one and actually connect your device. Sometimes you'll have to try more than one cables until you find the right one that actually allows your device to connect and you will not, um, you'll see your device come up without um, that particular error. And on that note, guys, please just make sure that it's properly plugged in right onto your um, USB port and also onto the port on the PC. If you are using a desktop, make sure that you use the ports at the back and not the ones at the front. So that's actually another thing that you could actually try to fix the... 
another thing to try guys is to on your phone just go to settings and of course this time you're going to go to um, apps and on all the devices you might need to go over to all but on this device it should be like this and what you're going to look for is under um under here you're going to look for um media storage um also guys you might have to show system files so in this case i'll have to come up here sorry tap in the upper right and show system apps and of course we're looking for media storage and there you go guys that's media storage so let's go ahead in media storage and go into storage again and of course you know what we're going to do here you're just going to go ahead and clear cache and clear data from media storage and finally you can go back and the second one you're going to look for is all right so finally you're going to look for um, external storage and that's this option right here all right and you're just going to do the same you're going to go to that storage and of course you're going to clear the cache and clear the data so guys by doing that what you should be able to do just now is to free up um the cache that might be preventing um your device from being detected so let's go ahead again disconnect the usb cable you could even restart the phone reconnect the usb cable once it's unlocked and of course it should start popping up places like sd card which might be empty should now be showing um, your files and so on all right guys so that's been a set of quick tips showing you how to actually go ahead and fix the issue where your um, folder is coming up uh, for your phone and showing that it's actually empty all right guys if you have any comments please email me with the from black tech tips and bye until next time bye